Hi, I'm Niklas Bauer. And I'm Mickey Nilsson. You're watching Fly TV. And today, we're doing this. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Fly TV. I'm Niklas Bauer, and I'm back again here with my good friend Mickey Nilsson from the Big Daddy episode. We're uh, far up north in Sweden, and uh, we're gonna try to target a really big pike in extremely shallow water, or at least shallow water. Uh, we're gonna fish. Um, a big river that comes out here and the, the mouth of the river. Uh, these big rivers, they attract a lot of fish for spawning. So um, the surrounding coves and also the, the weed banks in the river mouth is usually a very good place to fish um, for pike. They go into these shallow areas and the river mouths to spawn. But yep. the fish we're going to target is probably fish that has already spawned. Yeah, it's in the end of May. Uh, in Sweden we've had a little bit warmer spring up here than normal. Usually this would be more of a spawning season, but I think all the fish have already spawned here. Yep. We're about two weeks early, I would say. Yes. Everything is green and the water is warm. I think yeah. we have about 10 degrees, 10, 12 degrees in the water. Yeah, and that's so warm for this. Time it's very warm for yeah. this, especially in this particular place where we have the river mouse and so, <coughs> where usually the colder water is coming out. Yeah. So it's... So what kind of flies do you think we're going to use? As normal? <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to do the, the, the basic, chicken style. Ah, the chicken style, the, <laughs> the green, chicken, green and gold. Yeah, it's always a good fly. Yeah. But it would be nice if we can get some popper actions. Yeah. That would probably be possible because we're fishing in this it's very shallow area. So yeah. I don't think that would be impossible to no. It's so to fun do. when they start hitting these guys. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. If they don't like to take the popper, but uh, they still are attracted to them. We have a um, tandem rig, the popper and the flashable fly. So uh, we don't know if this works, but we're sure going to try it. <laughs> but it would work. I mean, it would if, work. Why not? I mean, if they, if they are attracted, but they don't take yeah, it. The so. hardest thing would be to, to get it out there. To yeah, the but fish. That's, that's another problem. <laughs> we got gear for that. So. <laughs> I left my, my 14 weight at home. <laughs> It's a big rig though. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's cool. I uh, will give it a try. And of course we have to use these uh, these articulated flies. Yeah. I think that's the baby uh, pike. Yeah, that's the new shit. Yeah. But they, they are so cool when they are when they're jointed like this. Yeah. They swim they swim so good. Jerk bait fisher don't have an excuse to use jerk baits anymore. No, 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 they have to fly fish. Yeah, exactly. And now, because now we can get, get the flies <laughs> to work as a jerk bait too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm some... gonna get a big one on these ones. Yeah, definitely. So uh, let's hit it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Grave digger, grave digger, send me on my way. Release me to this earth within this shallow grave. Yeah, fish on. Grave digger, grave digger, bring <laughs> Pretty me to decent. <laughs> I don't know. It's a heavy fish. Good. Yeah, this is not too bad. A good first fish. Looks like he inhaled your <laughs> UV fly pretty good there. Pretty good start for the day. Really strong. Yeah, and we had some contacts too. Yeah. So looks like um, could be a good day. Yeah, definitely. Good start for the day. Took my yellow UV fly <laughs> with red eye. Always red eyes. Yeah, red eyes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Let's put, Let's it, put back. it back. Get another one. Yeah, man. Good job. Here you go. All uh, geared up and ready. Thanks. <laughs> well, we have a pretty windy morning. So we're fishing a, a cove here. They've been spawning 
in this cove in here and uh, we're fishing the outskirts of the cove and there's some weed here on the bank and then we have the open ocean on the outside here so we're trying to seek the fish in these um, weed lines here on the sides and we're fishing them with uh, with slow mo lines because it's very shallow it's just a 70 80 centimeters deep here so these slow really slow intermediate we call them slow mo lines work excellent in this this water mm. oh, that's a good fish mm. <laughs> he just took that fly with bad intentions <laughs> <laughs> he took that flight pretty <laughs> he took it hard. <laughs> It's not too bad. She has uh, started feeding pretty good. Look, you can't even see the fly. <laughs> it's just... It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <clears throat> it's beautiful. It's got the stripes on the back as well. Yeah. Like a tiger fish. <laughs> Tiger pike. Tiger pike. Can I hit it like a tiger pike? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Sweet. Ah, that was a good take. That's a good take. <laughs> okay. So um, we're gonna try something different here. Popper and um, trailing uh, flushable fly. This is the first attempt ever, <laughs> so we'll give it a shot. The, the thing is, we hope that the fish will um, be really attracted by the popper, and probably, if they can, they can hit that, but otherwise they can take the flushable fly that just goes like a, an inch or a few centimeters under the uh, surface. Give it a shot, see what happens. The fly in the back really goes this five centimeters under here. <laughs> It's not too bad to cast either, actually. I really like to see the take on it. So, uh, this was fun. That was cool. <laughs> this, this was pretty That's radical. more than fun. <laughs> we made probably 15 casts with this rig. And then um, a fish came up and ate the, uh, the trailer fly here. Probably a, a really good way to attract them too. Well, it's definitely a good way to attract yeah, them. Yeah, to get some noise and turbulence in the water. And yeah. It's not the, the biggest, but it's definitely the f first, first one on, the, on that type of rig. <laughs> and it only took like 10 minutes, or not even 10 minutes, 10 casts probably. Just imagine having a 110 centimeter fish coming up, hammering that. <laughs> ah, I'm yeah. gonna go for that now. It'll be there. <laughs> so what I did is I have a wire here and then the rig and then I attached a second rig, attached it here and then some shrink tube on the uh, trailer hook. This is probably, I mean, this is the first time I made this so you can probably do this in a much better way. And then to the, to the trailer fly with the rig here again. Worked well. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That was really cool. The first try. Man, now I want a big one on this. <laughs> <laughs>
visiting popper flies and we, we threw the flies into the, the weed edge and the poppers landed almost next beside each other and me and Niklas just stripped them home and Niklas he got a, a, a small <laughs> one on his and just a second after he hooked it up I hooked into a little bigger fish that was so awesome but you're fishing a, a, just a straight on uh, popper yeah I only have a popper on mine I'm cheating you know I'm fishing yeah. the this is a yeah it's not a huge fish but pretty good yeah. it went up and crashed the popper and then I missed it and then it, it went for this one again, and after that, he just hammered this fish, <laughs> hammered Mickey's popper. This is so great action, man. <laughs> just love this. Check it out. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Oops. Thank Let's you. Let's get for a the 10 fun. plus for now. I thought this rig would work, and I thought the poppers would work, but I didn't think it would be this great, you know, at this time of the year. Look, I'm, fish I'm fishing Mickey's poppers too now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, so much fun. If you haven't tried popper fishing for pike, you should. That's a good fish. <laughs> <laughs> it could be like <laughs> one ten or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish took my articulated fly here the really high profile that moved see it's articulated and uh, you can see it's just on the trailer hook and uh, it's probably a fish that's uh, closer to 110 or something like that it's definitely over a meter 109 Needs to start feeding a little bit, but it's definitely a nice fish. Okay, bye bye. Nice job. <laughs> They're jointed or, or articulated. And then you have this um, Bauer Pike rig in the back here. So you get good hookups. Nice one. <laughs> we get a lot of questions about leaders and also a lot of people I meet um, ask me questions and, and about leaders and a lot of people have the wrong leaders in my opinion on, on when they fish for pike. They use too light tippet so they don't really get the flies to turn over. So I'm just going to show you very quickly and tell you how to, how to make the loops and how, how I rig my rods. I use... Um, these uh, salmon leaders, these are 12, or you can also buy them in 15 feet long. So this is a 12 foot leader. And uh, we're gonna put this leader on a slow-mo, this line we've been fishing a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use um, the butt section of this. And for a floating and an intermediate and uh, a slow-mo line, I usually use around a meter of a, a meter, a meter ten um, of a leader of nylon like this. And I use the butt section because it's much, much stiffer, so it really turns to flies. So what you do is you make a perfection loop on the end of this. This is really easy to find on YouTube. Just make a loop like that. And you pull that up. And to tighten, you can put something in here and really make it tight. When you have made a knot correctly like this, it will be a 90 degrees angle on the existing tippet like that. You can cut it pretty tight and we'll put it into the, uh, to the loop of the fly line like that. And we'll just loop it onto the other one here. Pull it tight like this, so a meter ten like that. So we make another perfection loop. So then you're good to go. And what you do is you just loop your your uh, tippet material here, your wire leader, and you pull the fly through. And also a good thing here is when you pull this over, 
don't pull them tight like this. Fold this wire over like this. So they loop them like that. Then you will have the wire. Um, it won't fray, it won't break the loop, and it also won't chink up here. So when you want to change the fly again, you just push this up, and it's easy to change it like that. So don't pull it tight like this. So fold the loop over, and you're good to go. So that length of leader is now probably um, a total of one and a half meters. And that will really make these flies that are 20, 25 centimeters turn out really well. Are you fishing a slow, like a sink three line or a sink five or even faster sinking lines? You need to use a shorter leader because you need to get the flies down. So if you have a long leader, you will just have the fly come up to the surface. So this is the basic length of a leader. If you go floating, intermediate or slow-mo. And if you go sink three, sink five and faster, make it shorter up to 30, 35 centimeters of nylon and as short as possible because you want to get the flies down. That's the, the whole idea of the leader. So, good to go. It's going to <laughs> Finland. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Goodbye. Do you have any backing on it? <laughs> yeah, I guess about 200 or something. Okay. Oh, you're into backing. <laughs> into backing. <laughs> what is this? I got maximum brake on. Shit, man. I'm fishing a, a silver grey with some UV flash on it in it. Ooh. Have you stopped playing with it or? Yeah, I've stopped playing, but I don't know if he has. Uh, I think she's ready. Or not. Oh, oh, oh. Anchor. Anchor, 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 anchor. Oh yeah? No, you're not. Yeah, we're good. We're good? Listen. That, that was why. There's <laughs> <laughs> a really powerful fish. Well, look, it's it's just it's stone hard. Yeah. It has a really really wide back to it. Good. 106. It's a 106 centimeter. Very very strong pike. Spool mint is about 60 meters of line. Good job. Good. Nice one. Well, we just went to the outskirts of this uh, cove here where the wind is really strong actually. And uh, been fishing this articulated pike. Come to daddy. <laughs> big mama, come to big daddy. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> well, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one for sure. Uh, <laughs> on the stinger hook on the side there. A good 110 centimeters. Yeah, easy. Will you take my line basket off? I will measure. This is a heavy one. Good girl, man. Uh, she's. Uh, 114, I would Ooh, say. That's a good fish. Slow mo line, articulated fly, and then 50 centimeters of water. So we are leaving this cove now and we're going to start fish up in the river mouth. See if we can get some fishing in these shallow parts of the river where it's much, much more calm too. Let's try it. Well, I was supposed to restrip. You see, I put all my line here. <laughs> And I just put the fly outside the boat and uh, the fish 
came up and, <laughs> and ate it. I, yeah. I didn't even make a cast, it just... Fish on! Oh, you got one too? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Nice. I don't know. Better one? And yeah, we just came to the river mouth and we started fishing the outskirts of it. Yeah. As you can see, it works pretty well. Decent fish? Huh? Yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> That's the fun part with river fish. Yeah. This could be a, a salmon? decent fish. Yeah. It's a salmonoid. Oh, look at the head of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. We're actually fishing in the in one of the, the center of the river almost. Good man. Yeah. Fine. Good job. I'm fishing with the shorter big mama rod, the 8.4. You can put some some serious pressure on the fish with this rod. <laughs> yeah, but well, it doesn't, it doesn't I work. I didn't move the fish anyway. Shit, man. <laughs> it's a meter plus? Yeah, it's definitely a meter plus. I thought it was bigger actually. Yeah, I thought so too. But it's so strong in the current. You got it? Good job, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Chartreuse sheep yes. head? Yeah. With red the eyes? UV. Yeah, you. Red eye? And a rattle. And a rattle. That's the trick. Sitting on a bad porch, drinking moonshine, chewing long cut, getting high on the elements. Looking for the big score, wanna get it done, gotta wrap it up, gotta hide all the evidence. to pull the boat out of the shallow <laughs> We're <water>. fucking stuck. <laughs> because we're fucking stuck. Shall we leave him here? <laughs> See ya. He's following my fly now. Look. Ah, come on, take it. <laughs> it's just tailing it right after. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Oh, that was a decent fish. There's some nice fish standing here in the shallow. Yeah. <coughs> that come up. That's a nice fish. Good fish? Yeah, it's a good yeah, fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's, that's a good fish. That's 10 plus. Ah, it's, a, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. It's a definitely a good fish. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's 100, 120. Yeah, it's 120, 20. That's a really big fish. Ah, oh, she's heavy. <laughs> Thank you for that shower. Didn't like my hand. I don't think she's really. <laughs> <laughs> but for sure, it's a good fish. <laughs> it's a nice fish. Yeah. I just love when they're this, when they're the size to them. Yeah, it's, it's just a completely different type of fish. You know, it's just. I would really like to take a look at this one. It's a oh. fish. It's a big fish. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> that's pretty decent, yeah, man. That's a pretty decent fish. Congratulations, man. Yeah, that's a, a good, good fish. fish. In shallow water. In shallow water. Slow mo line, shallow water. That's a good fish. She was just Shit. hammering it. It's a long fish. It's a long fish. Yeah. Shit. 
117. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, girl. You made my day. So we had a great time fishing these big fish in shallow water. Fantastic time. Two uh, over 110 centimeters. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a good time. <laughs> How many over a meter? I don't know. I don't ten? know. I don't know. At Eight least. or ten or something yeah. at least. And some really spectacular takes and we lost a few big ones. So yeah. Good job, man. But stripes on the back as well. Yeah. Like a tiger fish. <laughs> tiger pike. Tiger pike. Can I hit it like a tiger pike? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Sweet. Ah, that was a good take. That's a good take. <laughs> okay. So um, we're gonna try something different here popper and um, trailing uh, flushable fly. <laughs> this is the first attempt ever. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot. The, the thing is we hope that the fish will um, be really attracted by the popper and probably if they can they can hit that but otherwise they can take the flushable fly that just goes like a an inch or a few centimeters under the uh, surface. Give it a shot see what happens. The fly in the back really goes it's five centimeters under here. <laughs> it's not too bad to cast either, actually. I really like to see the take on it. So, uh, this was fun. That was cool. <laughs> this, this was pretty That's radical. more than fun. <laughs> we made probably 15 casts with this rig. And then uh, a fish came up and ate the, uh, the trailer fly here. Probably a, a really good way to attract them too. Well, it's definitely a good way to attract yeah, them. To get some noise and turbulence in the water. And yeah. And we had some contacts too, yeah. so looks like... Um, Could be a good day. Yeah, definitely. Good start for the day. Took my yellow UV fly. <laughs> With a red eye. Always red eyes. Yeah, no red eyes. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Let's, put, Let's it put it back. Get another one. Yeah, man. Good job. Here you go. All uh, geared up and ready. Thanks. <laughs> Well, we have a pretty windy morning, so we're fishing a, a cove here. They've been spawning in this cove in here, and uh, we're fishing the outskirts of the cove. And there's some weed here on the bank, and then we have the open ocean on the outside here. So we're trying to seek the fish in these um, weed lines there on the sides. And we're fishing them with, uh, with slow-mo lines because it's very shallow, it's just a 70 80 centimeters deep here so these slow really slow intermediate we call them slow mo lines work excellent in this this water mm, that's a good fish mm. <laughs> he just took that fly with bad intentions 
He took that flight pretty, <laughs> he took it hard. <laughs> I went down to the river to save my first monster. Oh, it's not too bad. She has uh, started feeding pretty good. Look, you can't even see the fly. <laughs> it's just... It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <clears throat> it's beautiful. It's, got, it's not the, the biggest, but it's definitely the f first, first one on, the, on that type of rig. <laughs> and it only took like 10 minutes, or not even 10 minutes, 10 casts probably. Just imagine having a 110 centimeter fish coming up. Hammering that. <laughs> ah, I'm yeah. gonna go for that now. <laughs> be there. So what I did is I have a wire here and then the rig and then I attached a second rig, attached it here, and then some shrink tube on the uh, trailer hook. This is probably, I mean, this is the first time I made this, so you can probably do this in a much better way. And then to the, to the trailer fly, with the rig here again. Worked well. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that was really cool. The first try. Man, I want a big one on this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Niklas Bauer. And I'm Mikael Nilsson. You're watching Fly TV. And today, we're doing this. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Fly TV. I'm Niklas Bauer, and I'm back again here with my good friend Mickey Nilsson from the Big Daddy episode. We're uh, far up north in Sweden, and uh, we're gonna try to target a really big pike in extremely shallow water, or at least shallow water. Uh, we're gonna fish um, a big river that comes out here and the, the mouth of the river. Uh, these big rivers, they attract a lot of fish for spawning. So um, the surrounding coves and also the, the weed banks in the river mouth is usually a very good place to fish um, for pike. They go into these shallow areas and the river mouths to spawn, but yep. the fish we're going to target is probably fish that has already spawned. Yeah, it's in the end of May. Uh, in Sweden we've had a little bit warmer spring up here than normal. Usually this would be more of a spawning season, but I think all the fish have already spawned here. Yep. We're about two weeks early, I would say. Yes. Everything it's is green and the water is warm. I think yeah. we have about 10 degrees, 10, 12 degrees in the water. Yeah, and that's so warm for this. Time it's of very year. warm for yeah. this, especially in this particular place where we have the river mouse and so, <coughs> where usually the colder water is coming out. Yeah. 
So it's. So what kind of flies do you think we're gonna use? As normal? <laughs> yeah, you're probably the, gonna do the the basic chicken style. ah the chicken style the, <laughs> the green chicken, green and gold. Yeah, it's always a good fly. Yeah, but it would be nice if we can get some popper actions. Yeah, <coughs> that would probably be possible because we're fishing in this it's very shallow area. So yeah. I don't think that would be impossible to. No. It's so fun do. when they start hitting these guys. Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. If they don't like to take the popper, but uh, they still are attracted to them, we have them. Um, tandem rig the popper and the flashable fly so uh, we don't know if this worked but we're sure gonna try it <laughs> but it would work i mean it would if, work why not i mean if they, if they are attracted but they don't take yeah, it the so. hardest thing would be to to get it out there to yeah the but fish. that's that's another problem <laughs> we got gear for that so. <laughs> i left my my 14 weight at home <laughs> it's a big rig though <laughs> yeah it is that's cool i uh, will give it a try and of course we have to use these uh these articulated flies. Yeah, I think that's the baby uh, pike. Yeah, that's the new shit. Yeah, but they, they are so cool when they are when they're jointed like this. Yeah. They swim. They swim so good. Jerk bait fisher don't have an excuse to use jerk baits anymore. No, 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 they have to fly fish. Yeah, exactly. And now because now we can get, get the flies <laughs> to work as a jerk bait too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna I'm some... gonna get a big one on these ones. Yeah. Definitely. So. Uh, Let's hit it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Grave digger, grave digger, send me on my way. Release me to this earth within this shallow grave. Yeah. Fish on. Grave digger, grave. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty de decent. <laughs> I don't know. It's a heavy fish. Good. Yeah, it's not too bad. A good first fish. Looks like he inhaled your <laughs> UV fly pretty good there. Pretty good start for the day. Really strong. Yeah.